What is up guys, it's your boy George and today we're here at the Flamingo Hotel and Casino, one of the most historic properties on the Las Vegas Strip. We're taking a look at the room, the pool, the restaurants, all that stuff. Stay tuned, let's get into it. Alright guys, we made it here to our room. We are in the 25th floor and we are in a standard king room. We do have a view of the high roller and the price for this room was $92 and $149 after resort fees and taxes. And before we do a room tour, let's talk a little bit more about the Flamingo Hotel and Casino. The Flamingo Hotel was created in 1946, making this hotel probably older than anyone watching this right now. It was created by Bugsy Siegel and colleagues, so this hotel has a bunch of mobster ties. There's exactly 3,460 rooms with the casino floor expanding only 72,000 square feet. As far as entertainment goes, you have things like Piff the Magic Dragon. You have Wayne Newton, yep, still kicking here at the Flamingo. You also have a burlesque show and RuPaul's Drag Race show. And if you're looking for something free to do right downstairs, they have a wildlife habitat where you can see some actual flamingos, some koi fish, turtles, a bunch of other stuff. As far as F&B goes, there's not a whole lot going on here. You have Bugsy and Mayer Steakhouse. You also have Carlos and Charlie's, which is a Mexican restaurant that's located right next to the wildlife habitat. At, and you also have Margaritaville, but that's basically on the strip. The Flamingo is also known for being one of those budget-friendly destinations. I've seen rooms here for as little as like $15 per night, and if you don't have a car, this is really nice because you're dead smack in the middle of it all. So with all that being said, let's take a quick look around here at the Resort King Room. All right, guys, when you walk in, you are gonna have a sliding door into the restroom. Pretty nice and modern place, very well lit. And my favorite thing about this little area here is the tile slash like drywall that you have here behind check this out look body wash conditioner and shampoo caesars does this for some reason the shampoo conditioner and body wash they don't want to give you the little containers anymore here you have a closet extra pillow what do we have here okay so pretty standards but it's a uh, nice and pink all right moving on to the actual room we have the two lamps shaped as flamingos check this out Kind of tacky, but hey, I get it. It's the brand. We got a nice headboard here with some nice wallpaper in the back. So I'm guessing this is a 55 inch TV. And although this piece of furniture is kind of lame, in my opinion, check this out. This is not lame. We actually got a fridge. What? On a standard room? Let's go. I already put a water in here. It's nice and cold. This is a big bonus right here. $92 a night. All right. So here we have this kind of ugly therapy couch. Right next to it, we have the view. Check out this view. So right down here, you have the wildlife habitat, which you can actually see some flamingos from here. Then you have the pool, then the high roller and the MSG sphere in the background. This is super nice. The price difference between this and the other resort king room was only like $5. So that's all for the room. Now let's head downstairs and see what trouble we get into. As soon as you get out of the elevators, you are gonna find the wildlife habitat check this out and here we have these are the start of the show the flamingos but you also have a bunch of ducks here and i think the turtles are on the other pond but check this out quite beautiful little oasis for free here in the middle of this giant city some water turtles i see them right down there and there's also pelicans California brown pelican. It's not that little guy. So this wildlife area is really small. If you're just walking straight, you'll finish it in like 30 seconds. But I think it's uh, really nice because one, it's free. And two, there's nothing like that here in Las Vegas. There's used to be a zoo at the Mirage. But aside from that, it's a nice little escape from the busyness of the streets. Would you look at that? Happy hour, two for one. Margaritas, mojitos, and beers. Carlos and Charlie's. Oh, is it close? Let's get it. All right, so we got situated here at Carlos and Catina. We took a seat outside because it's a little cloudy, but it is very hot. They do have an indoor area, but overall the vibes here are pretty cool. It's kind of like if you were at a beach in Mexico or something like that. It has that same kind of vibe, obviously without the Mexicans. So here we got a margarita. Here we got a lime margarita and a strawberry margarita. Two for one. Uh, so basically both of them for 20 bucks. The price of one would be 20 bucks. And uh, let's give it a go. How's that? Frozen margarita for this weather. 
and it's bomb, dude, 20 bucks, that's where it's at. Also, the happy hour here is super long, from 2 to 6 p.m. That's four hours of like prime time every single day. So Saturday, Sunday, that's pretty dope. Now let's try this strawberry frozen margarita. All right, um, I think this one might be stronger and also sweeter. But I'll stick with this one. This is fire. This is exactly what people want. A frozen margarita in Las Vegas when it's hot as hell. You like it? Now try this one. <laughs> what was that? That one's better? I'll take this one then. That's no problem. Always taking the leftovers. That's fine though. Yeah, here at the bottom, there's a concentrate of all the alcohol. So neither of us are hungry, so we're not ordering any food. But they do have a restaurant in there that is quite large. It's probably twice as big as this whole outside area. And that place right now is absolutely packed. I think everyone wants to be in there because of the AC. We're out here in this, in this heat. All right, so I misspoke. The name of the place is not Carlos Cantina and Cantina. It's Carlos and Charlie's. Uh, but now uh, we got our margaritas to go. Let's uh, walk around and see what else we get into. All right, so here we have the food court at the Flamingo. And honestly, it looks pretty sad. It's a little small. I guess it looks kind of clean, you know, but you only have Johnny Rockets and Bananos Pizzeria. If you want a pizza slice for like $11 and Johnny Rockets, then this is your place. Here we have the steakhouse. It honestly doesn't look like a steakhouse. It looks more like a cafe, but it looks quite nice. All right, something I want to mention is that the Flamingo has a distinct smell. It kind of smells like an old lady's bathroom if that old lady smoked cigarettes and weed. Here we are at the Link Promenade. Here's the exit to exit the Flamingo. And check this out. This is a super nice place. There aren't any showgirls here. There aren't any people begging for money. It's a super clean place. There's a bunch of restaurants and things to do here. There's like VR experiences. Obviously you have the high roller. Yeah, Buddy Velastro's Jersey Eats. What do we have here? Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. Here we have Chayo's Cantina for some Mexican food and some Hispanic music. So it's unfair that the Link Promenade has that name because it's basically shared by both the Link and the Flamingo. So it should just be the Promenade, in my opinion. Here in this whole little quad area, you have the Brooklyn Bowl where you have actual bowling and you have concerts. Then you have In-N-Out, super cheap burgers from the West Coast. Then you have the American Bar, Jabberitos. You also have Virgil's Barbecue, Tilt to Kill, which is a sports bar. This is at the very bottom of the high roller. So tickets before 7 p.m. are like $25 per person. After that, they're $36 per adult. Yard House used to have a super kick-ass happy hour deal, but they no longer do it at this location. We're heading over to the pool, and here at the Flamingo, you basically have two pools. You have the family-friendly pool, and then you also have the Go Pool, and it's a 21 and over place only. So we're gonna go leave this camera in the room right now and uh, head over to the pool right now. It looks like a party right now. It's 4 p.m. and it's cloudy, so there's a ton of people there. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, made it here to the Go Pool, and I stand corrected. You actually have to be 21 years old, and that's about the only requirement that you need to be here. Uh, anyone in Las Vegas can come here. That's why it's so active right now. It's open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., and there's literally so many people right now. It's like almost 5 p.m., and this place seems super active. Uh, another thing that I wanted to say is that the beers here are obviously going to be expensive, and you can't bring anything else inside. I got myself here a Modelo, a little tiny can for $11. Hey, what do you have it? There is a waterfall, a ton of day beds, cabanas, all that stuff. This is basically like a day club. And I love that you don't have to be part of the casino to stay here. And uh, that's why it's so active right now. So yeah, this is basically a free day club that you can access in Las Vegas. This place is a little ratchet, I'm not gonna lie. They do play a lot of hip hop, but hey, we like a little ratchet in this channel. Pretty cool spot, honestly. The vibes are there, the music is dope. Uh, so now let's head back inside the casino. So I made it back to the room and usually when I make these videos, I try to show an entertainment portion of the stay. But to be quite frank, none of the shows here at the Flamingo draw my attention. Uh, Piff the Magic Dragon kind of does because it's magic, but at the same time, it looks a little goofy. We also have Wade Newton, you have a RuPaul's Drag Show race, and then you have uh, the Burlesque Show. To be honest, none of those sound cool, but that's just my opinion. I just noticed something, I was gonna wash my hands and there is no soap but lucky for me there is lotion so my hands are going to be dirty and moisturized 
Guys, the freaking hallways here smell like weed so strong. Uh, yeah, I can't get over that. But check out this view. Since we're not going on a show here, let's go to the steakhouse, Bugsy and Mayer's. Okay, George, right this way. Oh, thank you. Look at that. I didn't know it expanded all the way here. We just got situated here at the steakhouse and they have this back room that I didn't know existed and thank God because this little area here is a lot more elegant. The front area, you actually see all the people walking by and stuff like that and to me that kind of ruins the experience of a steakhouse. Now let's talk about the menu here. The menu is actually quite expensive. I know it's a steakhouse but the old fashioned drinks were starting like at $25 and up to $40 for a cocktail. Then we took a look at the different cocktail list and each cocktail is like at least $25. That's outrageous for being here at the Flamingo and I get it I mean it's just I don't think it's the same target demo that the room prices go for all right guys here we have the Wagyu brace short ribs it comes with some Parmesan pasta here with mushrooms and some what is this some grated cheese up here looks super delicious I honestly thought it was just gonna be the braised short rib I didn't actually read the whole thing but this looks delicious we also have a side of asparagus of course you can't come to a steakhouse without some asparagus this side, we got some lobster mac and cheese uh, the presentation here actually does look like it's it'll be a little bit less fancy but nonetheless the food smells pretty good so let's get started all right let's get it going with the wagyu brace short rib brace for like eight hours i think the server said oh this looks ridiculously juicy i have to say i don't even need a knife to cut through that because i think it's just like falling off like butter very unique flavors it said it has horseradish on top I'm not tasting any of that, but what I am tasting is delicious. You get this whole plate for $60, and it essentially comes with a side dish and then some Wagyu braised short ribs. I think this is pretty sick. 60 bucks for this, not a bad price. The pasta is not as flavorful as the short rib. I feel like it, it needs a little bit of something. Now let's try the asparagus. Let's be healthy. They're okay. I wish it had more butter, like a stronger butter flavor. Pan here of lobster mac and cheese. There's like chunks of lobster here. So let's give it a shot. It's good, not great. Not the best thing I've ever tasted, but it's also very decent. All right, so I was over here looking for a restroom, which is right behind me this way. But then I looked to my left and then I noticed an extra bar. Check this out, this is like a speakeasy here. But I had no idea that it was here. I've never heard anyone talk about this, but apparently they have live music here on Fridays and Saturdays. All right, guys, look, you guys know I'm a foodie and I don't have really high expectations, but that place let me down quite a bit. I wouldn't recommend you guys go in there or maybe they had an off night or something, but Bugsy and Mayers left a lot to be desired for being a steakhouse here and being at that price. Uh, I am gonna say something though, the staff there was really nice. Our server, the hostess, they were all really cool. It's just the food, dude, I would skip it. I would go to In-N-Out if I'm staying here or something, because ah, that was not the business, I'm sorry. So after walking around for a little bit, we have decided to go to Margaritaville. Where every hour is happy hour. All right, so we gave in and now we're here at Margaritaville because they have an all day happy hour. $7 for their house margaritas. You can also get domestic beers or some of the well drinks. So all for $7 every single day, every hour is happy hour here. Check this out. Check that out. Boom. They don't skimp you here on the alcohol. And it's really cool because it's like right in front of the strip, so you get to have all the action. For a $7 margarita, I forget that this deal exists. You can either get these on the rocks like this or frozen. I prefer on the rocks because you're getting a good amount of alcohol, sometimes they pour a little bit more. The later it gets, the nicer this Link Promenade area looks. Check that out, a bunch of colors, the weather's nicer. It's just beautiful out here. Made it to I Love Sugar, a bunch of diabetes causing materials. Some Harry Potter treats. Oh, the chocolate frog? Yeah. All right, now we're getting our butts handed to us here at the slots. 
go. We have the high roller looking cool and then you have the MSG sphere. Right now it's portraying like a tiger eye or something but it's facing the other way. All right, good morning everybody. Uh, so I've had a night to think about things and I'm gonna give you a list of pros and cons of why you should or shouldn't stay here at the Flamingo. All right, so let's get started with the pros. The number one, I'm gonna go with the price. You can get many different types of rooms and suites here at the Flamingo for a really good price. Now specifically for this room, the view that you get here of the high roller is actually quite nice and considering it's just a small upgrade from the regular resort king rooms, uh, this is quite nice. Third thing on the list, I'm gonna go with the fridge that was in the room. That was a nice surprise here and I was able to put the leftovers in there. And the last thing I'm gonna go with the location. The Flamingo is located right in the middle of it all. So you can walk north, south of the strip and you'll be close to everything. Now, as far as the cons here, the reasons why I wouldn't stay here again, number one are the smells. Like it smells like weed. It also smells like wet carpet. Some places it smell like sewage. I was just so confused why the smells were so strong everywhere in the casino. Number two, I'm gonna go with the food options. There isn't a whole lot to pick from and the place that we did go we gave it a shot there was something about it it made my stomach feel a little upset uh, but hey maybe it was an off night number three the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi absolutely sucks and I hate the fact that if you connect more than two devices to the Wi-Fi they charge you like 15 or 19.99 something like that one more thing I should mention is that the casino floor was really frantic there's a lot of transient people walking around and I really didn't like that the minimums in a lot of the slot machines were up to like five dollars and you know maybe I'm just a little biased because we got our butts kicked but that's just another thing that added to the reasons why I wouldn't stay here at the Flamingo and number four I'm gonna go with the fact that there wasn't any soap in the room that was the first strike then the second and last strike that I had was the fact that there was some kind of graffiti on the bed. I mean, I'm surprised housekeeping hasn't noticed this by then or what does this mean? FL, like Flamingo something? I don't know. But I saw that, I got a little disgusted. So key takeaways, I should have gone to In-N-Out for food and we should have checked out Piff the Magic Dragon. Not to mention, the pool looked really nice, it looked fun, but you don't even have to be a guest here to go there, so that defeats the purpose. Anyway, I hope you found this information helpful. If you're still watching, please remember to give this video a like, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and then comment down below, questions, comments, concerns, or if you're just bored, because it all helps the algorithm. Till next time, guys, peace out.